Okay, so I'm gonna finally make an updated video about the CB setup here. And um, I've had about a year to learn more about radio, so this will be a little better than the last one. So we'll get this thing fired up for the first time in a long time. Pretty sad antenna right now. You can see the right hand portion fell down. One of the problems with living here is everywhere you step, there's ants. So you're always getting bitten by ants, which sucks, but whatever. I think I'm standing on some ants right now. Well, 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 look what I found. It's actually a very big spider. There goes our spider friend in search of a new home. Well, I was told I had to kill the spider, so his home is in heaven. Anyway, um, this is what the connections look like. Kind of gross. And um, this is where the balance should be. The balance should be here. And, um, but I don't have the toroid. However, I would recommend making an air choke, which is just a coil of the coax around some sort of form, if you have extra coax. I did not. Okay, so I cleaned it up a little bit. I sprayed some carb cleaner on it, and then put some WD-40 on it, and then put some new electrical tape on it, and then put it back up on this pole here, which I literally just stuck in the ground last year, and it already has things growing out of it. It's actually trying to grow. I have a feeling that it's gonna be a little bit off. I'm gonna have a kind of a bad SWR, but we'll make adjustments as necessary. Keep in mind that that place right there where that connection is entering, that PVC connector, where that black wire is entering there, that there should be a ballon there, and there's not. Okay, so this is a Nano VNA. It's definitely the most useful tool I have here for radio-related stuff. Go ahead and um, and get one of these if you don't have it because it's very useful. You can see on my nifty little tool I made here that the center connector, the center of the coaxial is running into the center of the SMA connector and the braid is connected by an alligator clip to the outside of the SMA connector. Um, so, you know, with this, now we're able to get a reading on the SWR, which is, it's kind of bright out here, so sorry about that. But you can see that um, we're right around the CB frequencies, so we're at 26.9 here. And, um, you know, we have an SWR that's below three. It's still unacceptable for most people, but I'm not most people, and um, it's okay for me. But we have some really high resistance, um, which is kind of bullshit. I'm not sure why it's that high. Okay, and as you can see, the SWR is worse than before, um, but the Smith chart is showing a normal resistance reading of around 50 ohms. That's where it should be. Um, the reason the SWR is worse is I had something called correction turned on on this Nano VNA, and it gave me an incorrect reading, so I cut a little bit of the antenna off each leg of the dipole. Make sure that you um, use your tools better than I did. It's a case of measure twice, cut once. Make sure your tools are calibrated. So just a few closing notes here as we approach the end. Calculate the length of your antenna better than I did, and also make sure you use an air ballon or a real ballon, and also have fun. Be aware that you're not going to be able to be received by most people because they're using vertical antennas that are vertically polarized, and this type of antenna is horizontally polarized. That makes it better for long distance communications generally, but for, um, for short distance local stuff, for contacting other people using regular CB antennas, you're not gonna have much luck. You will have to use an amp and put out hundreds of times more power than a regular old CB to be heard by someone using a vertical antenna if you're using a horizontal antenna. What I ultimately figured out when I was using this is that the 
signal is not being transmitted. You're getting an RF carrier with this radio, but there's no audio being modulated onto the final RF output. So, um, yeah, it basically means the radio isn't really good for much right now. Hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Look at that. Nothing. No change. Nothing. Speaking directly into the microphone. Nothing. Nothing. And I'm overloading my poor unit, but look at that signal. It's definitely getting out there. It's 50 over S9, but I'm right next to the antenna also. It's not the best antenna, but it functions. And with that, I hope you have a wonderful day, and maybe I'll see you in a future video.